Hi, so we're going to send you home with some kick wax for two different uh, temperature conditions. Basically, look at the temperature outside and then check on the side of the kick wax. And the red is good for most conditions down to about 14 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you're going to go skiing on a much colder day, you'll probably want to use the blue wax. And this kick wax is applied just to the kick zone of your ski. And so we've marked on the sides of the ski, we've identified the kick zone, and that's where you need the sticky wax to go. And to apply it, you just turn the dial on the bottom a little bit to bring the wax up and crayon on a thin layer on both sides of the groove. Don't worry about trying to get any into the groove in the middle of the ski, you don't need it there. And then use your cork. I'm going to send you with red and blue and a cork and just set the cork down on top of the ski and rub it back and forth and that'll warm up the wax and smooth it out and then when you're done I like to kind of hold the cork up on an edge a little bit and just make one pass from tip to tail and that kind of smooths it all nice on the ski and you'll want to put on at least three or four layers of kick wax to start out with when you're done skiing, you can look at the base of the ski and if there's still a good amount of wax on there and the temperature is the same, you can go out and ski on it again. Or if you notice that some of your wax is worn off, you'll need to put on another one or two layers. And you can put the blue on top of the red if it's colder or vice versa, it doesn't really matter. But you don't want to see a big bumpy buildup. It's best to put on a thin layer of kick wax, cork it in, put on another thin layer keep it nice and smooth.